can I exercise while doing intermittent fasting? Is it safe? Can I lift heavy weights while doing IF or will fasting make me lose my hard earned muscle? When it comes to IF and exercise, everyone has a lot of concerns and frankly, a lot of misconceptions. Well, no more because I will answer all these questions and explain the best way to exercise and not just maintain but gain muscle during IF in today's video of the Whole Truth Academy. I will break this video into three parts. One, is it advisable and safe to exercise while on IF? Two, is muscle loss a given on IF or can you actually gain muscle while fasting? And three, what is the best type and time to exercise while on IF? Before we start though, allow me to introduce myself. I am Shashank, founder of The Whole Truth, India's first 100% clean label food brand. We are a young startup and this educational YouTube series is all the marketing we do. So, if you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button and tell your friends and family about us. Ok, let's begin. Should I exercise at all while fasting? Is it safe? The short answer is a big emphatic yes. You can and you should exercise while you are on IF. Of course, there are some best practices and some precautions relating to time of exercise etc that we will get to but do not let anyone tell you that you can't. In fact, exercise can help increase certain benefits of IF. If you have seen our previous videos about IF's many benefits, then you know that ketosis and autophagy are two important ones. In short, that is the body's ability to burn fat for fuel and the body's ability to repair itself by eating up damaged cells respectively. And both these benefits get accentuated if you include exercise into your IF routine. How? Well, if you recall the body's first go to source for daily energy needs is glycogen. And it is only once glycogen stores are depleted and no new energy in the form of food is coming in that the body shifts to burning stored fat for fuel aka ketosis. Well, if you exercise on a fasted stomach, you use up those glycogen stores faster and hence the body enters ketosis faster. And since ketosis is also a trigger for autophagy, that too kicks in faster. Simple. But there are other benefits of combining fasting and exercising too. Fasting and exercising both individually and when done together activate the sympathetic nervous system or the SNS. This is our flight or fight response. The SNS is fundamental in controlling one's metabolism and energy balance. When the SNS is activated, which is the case with fasting and exercising, it increases metabolism and fat burning. And lastly, it increases human growth hormone or HGH. AGH is responsible for muscle growth, repair, rejuvenation, boosting metabolism and what not. Now, exercising itself leads to a surge in growth hormone but it is short lived. Fasting on the other hand leads to not only a longer but a larger surge in HGH. And coupled together with fasting and exercise, they have an even bigger impact on HGH. Hence, counterintuitively, you are more primed to gain muscle while fasting than not. Which brings me to the second big question. Will I lose muscle while fasting or can I actually gain muscle? Before we get to muscle growth, let's tackle muscle loss. A lot of folks have this misconception that in the absence of energy from food, your body will start breaking down muscle for energy. Well, nothing could be further from the truth. The body turns to breaking muscles for energy only after it's finished all the stored glycogen and fat reserves, which by the way is the definition of starvation, not fasting. Think of your body's energy sources as a three tier system. The first to go is carbs, next is fats and finally when you've exhausted both those two, does your body move on to proteins. And for those of you who want to go even deeper, well yes, Sometimes the body does break down damaged muscle cells and uses them elsewhere, but that is autophagy at work. The body is repairing and reusing damaged cells and if you are eating good nutrient dense food, the muscle you grow back in place of this damaged tissue 
will actually be denser and stronger. So no, if you're not starving yourself, your body will not eat muscle while fasting. In fact, like we discussed, HGH is peaking while fasting. And hence, if you're exercising right and eating right, you can actually put on muscle on IF. Which brings me to the last segment. What's the right way to exercise while on IF? First up, the answer depends on the variation of IF you're doing. 16-8, OMAD, 5-2, 24-hour fasts and so on. If you haven't, watch video 2 of our series to understand all different types of fasts and their benefits. Now, if your fasting pattern involves severe restrictions on a few days, for example, alternate day fasting or OMAD, it's best to do low intensity activities like yoga or walking at best. These are what we call LIS or low intensity steady state exercises. Kind of like the opposite of HIIT or HIT. Don't do HIIT if you're on OMAD, okay? Please. However, if you're doing the popular 16-8 or something similar, you can introduce both aerobic and anaerobic activity into your routine. HIIT and weightlifting too actually, once you've gotten used to the fasting routine. Amongst all fasting types, I personally believe the 16-8 method allows you the most flexibility to practice varied intensities of exercises. You're still eating 2-3 meals a day and hence you have enough energy to fuel these workouts. All you need to do is time your workouts right. How to time my workout? By time, I don't mean 11 a.m. versus 5 p.m. But should you work out at the start, middle or end of your fasting period? And what if you decide to work out during your feeding window? Now, personally, I'm of the opinion that you should make IF fit your workout routine and not the other way around. If you already have a set routine, don't disturb it. Fit your fasting window around it because otherwise you'll be trying to sustain two new habits and that's exponentially tougher than one. With that said, there is some research that suggests muscle building capability is increased for four hours after strength training, after which it declines. And since your body needs both energy and protein to build back all that broken muscle fiber, working out at the end of your fast and eating right after might be a good choice if you're looking to put on muscle. On the other hand, if you're optimizing for weight and more importantly for fat loss, you're better off doing low intensity steady state or list exercises like jogging or yoga at the start or during the middle of your fast. This will exhaust your glycogen reserves quicker and switch your primary fuel source to fats. But hey, the best part about IF is that it can and should be altered to your routine. That's what makes it so sustainable. Oh, and goes without saying, if workouts start feeling miserable or low energy, you should stop intermittent fasting. Feed more or try a different workout. Basically, all the above gyan that folks like me give you, please, please listen to your body first. All these videos are just general guidelines that apply to most, but not all. And now, let's quickly recap what we've learned about exercising an IF. One. Yes, you can work out while fasting. In fact, it can be very beneficial. Two, no, your body does not start using muscle for energy. That happens when you're starving, not fasting. Three, AGH or human growth hormone is heightened while fasting. So with the right feeding strategy, you can actually gain muscle on IF. And four, for best results, you should optimize both time and type of exercise depending on your fasting method. I'm leaving a link to a table that summarizes the types of IF and the best type and timing of workout that goes with it in the links below. Please use that as a ready reference. And we're done. Fasting is great. Exercising while fasting is also great. And subscribing to this awesome free channel is the best. So do all three and I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.